Hey, time for another USB socket repair. I had an earlier video, a JBL Flip 3, I think it was, um, Bluetooth speaker that I rep repaired the, uh, the USB charging port in that proved to be relatively popular. And I've got a new one here which I'm going to repair, uh, or another thing. It's a Samsung uh, fast charging wireless uh, charging dock where you put your phone, sit on there and it, it charges wirelessly. But my, um, my baby boy has... Uh, a knack for um, grabbing this thing when he's sitting on my lap at the computer and um, he pulls it and it's pulled the uh, cable a few too many times and it's damaged the uh, USB port in the back there. So um, I'm going to replace it. So I've kind of cheated and I've already opened this thing up. Basically what you've got to do is, um, you can see underneath there, we've got a rubber pad. You've got to peel that off and then there's a whole heap of screws all the way around. So I've undone those and that lets me take the little piece there off. There's two screws for that and the rest and opens up. I've also cheated a little bit further because I had to uh, take the old USB port out so I could um, find a new one. So that's the old one there. I've, I basically tried to uh, repair it by um, soldering the underside there because it's the way they make these ports is it's a flat bit of metal and they bend it around into the shape of the, U the micro USB. And uh, what's happened was it was that because it's been you know, the, the plug, the cable that plugs in, has gone like this a few times. It's kind of stretched it out. So I'll try to solder it close again, but it's it's gone. The plastic piece in there is all, like, worn out and bent so that it doesn't hold properly. So um, that's the old one there. Basically, I just, the way I, I pulled it out, I've got a, a desoldering gun. But an easy way to do it if you don't have a desoldering gun or a, a hot air gun is to uh, just flood it with um, solder on the pins at the back. This is the underside, but you can see if that's, hopefully that's focusing. Uh, there's some pins at the back there. If you flood those with your soldering iron, just put a big blob of solder on there. And then you can get like a, um, a scalpel or a, an, like a blade like that and just flick up each individual pin. Um, be very careful because you, the traces are so small, you can run the risk of uh, damaging the traces. But just do it real careful. And once you've got those up, then you can desolder the um, the legs on the sides, suck that out or use some solder wick or something, and uh, carefully pull that off. Uh, you could also clip the um, the little legs, those little wings coming out the sides. Don't do it before you've uh, desoldered the, uh, the pins, because uh, the force of cutting that could tear the pins off. So once you've carefully desoldered those pins, you can click clip those little wings off and it'll come out and you can desolder it bit by bit. That's a, uh, a neat trick to um, desolder chips as well. You can kind of cut the legs and take it out and then desolder the, the legs one by one and it makes it a lot easier. So I've got a new, I uh, actually bought five, five new ones from DigiKey. You can see the part number there. I'll also put the information down below and that's the exact part. Well, I'm hoping it's the exact part. It, it, it does match up perfectly. From the drawings. So let's stick one of these in and see what happens. If I can get the thing open. There we go. Nice and shiny. And that fits perfectly. So I reckon I could probably even do it just like that. All right, I'm going to fire up the um, soldering iron. I'll zoom in a bit and uh, we'll get this thing soldered in. All right, so first things first, I'm going to solder in the uh, the legs on the sides and that way that's going to hold it perfectly in position while I solder the delicate stuff underneath. So I've got a um, an average size tip on there at the moment because I want to get a bit of heat in because that's a big solder, uh, big uh, ground plane there I've got to solder to. And then later on, when we do the small pins, we'll um, switch over to a much smaller uh, tip.
I'm going to suck a little bit of solder away from there. I was doing it kind of backwards overhand. I'll just redo that one from a different angle. All right. So that's the uh, thing put in, and I'll just pull that one out. Uh, it's good at having a good quality soldering on because I can just quickly swap back over to another soldering tip. Just like that. So that will take about 10 seconds to heat up. And I, I also have some really, really fine solder. This stuff is, uh, oh, what size is it? I'm just trying to read the real 0.3 millimeter, which hopefully should make it easier to solder those small pins. I'm also going to use some uh, flux. Give it the old Lewis Rosman treatment. Good old blob of flux. The more the better. All right, that is looking good. All right, I turn that up. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, that's about as close as we can get, but you can see in there anyway. Nicely soldered. That should be good. So, with that, we should be able to just put the thing back together. And as I say, reassembly is the opposite of disassembly. So we just go the uh, opposite the way in, and we should get it back together. Now there are two screws, it seems, that are different thread from the rest, or well, in this one anyway. The coarser thread I'm putting back in where the uh, USB port is. Okay, we are done and we are ready to plug it in. So I've got the uh, official Samsung Adaptive Fast Charging USB charger here. I'll plug the uh, USB cable in and plug it into a power outlet just off camera to the right and see how this feels when we plug it in. Oh yeah. That's much better than what it was. All right, I've got my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 freshly smashed up. I um, I have to admit, I, I almost cried when I um, did that. Brand new phone. If I place that there, it's charging. You see that? It's come up charging wirelessly. If I hit the button, I oh, no, don't have to. I don't know if that's going to come up any brighter, but... No, can't see it. Let's turn off the lights. You see there? Fast charging wirelessly. 84%. Nice. That is done. Sweet. Two thumbs up. That's all it takes. Just replace the USB port. The trick is 
replacing the USB port. He's got to be really careful because those pins are really small. That's the underside of the old jack. You can see I've tried to solder it there. Anyway, that's it. Um, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Keep watching the videos. See you next time.